Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Papua New Guinea where he addressed the Forum of India-Pacific Islands Cooperation Summit. He also held bilateral talks with the Prime Minister James Marape today. The Indian Prime Minister arrived in the country on Sunday after attending the G7 summit in Hiroshima, Japan. This is the first time an Indian Prime Minister is visiting Papua New Guinea. Modi is now scheduled to interact with scholars from the Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation Programme. He will then depart for Sydney, Australia, where he is scheduled to spend the next two days. India's territory of Jammu and Kashmir is all set to host a three-day G20 meeting starting today. This will be the third G20 Tourism Working Group meeting, which will be taking place from May 22nd to the 24th. This meeting is set to focus on five key aspects related to tourism, green tourism, digitalization, skills, MSMEs and destination management. Film tourism for economic growth and cultural preservation is also on the agenda for the first time or for the first half of the meeting. The meeting is part of India's efforts to focus on promoting Jammu and Kashmir as a destination for film tourism. U.S. President Joe Biden and House Republican Speaker Kevin McCarthy will soon meet to discuss the debt ceiling crisis. This as the president is now back in Washington after attending the G7 summit in Hiroshima, Japan. Joe Biden and Kevin McCarthy reportedly held telephonic conversation regarding the debt crisis before Biden left Hiroshima. Biden needs Republican support to raise the debt ceiling of $31.4 trillion. Speaking to reporters at the U.S. Capitol following Biden's call, McCarthy said there were positive discussions on solving the crisis and that staff-level talks were set to resume later in the day. Ukrainian forces say they have partly encircled Bakhmut along the flanks and still control a part of the city. This after Russian claim that Bakhmut has completely fallen into their hands. Eastern city of Bakhmut has been or has seen the longest and bloodiest battle of the 15-month war. Russian President Vladimir Putin congratulated his troops for the claimed victory. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky earlier answered a reporter's question on Bakhmut during the G7 summit in Hiroshima and said that there is nothing left in the city. He also said that Hiroshima's nuclear attack destruction reminded him of Bakhmut and other destroyed Ukrainian cities. Brazilian President Lula da Silva said during a press briefing in Hiroshima that a meeting with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on the sidelines of the G7 summit in Japan did not happen because Zelensky was late. The president called for both Ukraine and Russia to stop the war. He also said that G7 or G20 is not a space to discuss the war, but it is only the United Nations. French President Emmanuel Macron visited Mongolia where he headed to after attending the G7 summit in Japan. Macron said that he aimed to strengthen energy sovereignty with Mongolia and that he had spoken with the country's president on the war in Ukraine. The visit is the first of a sitting French president to the country and is aimed at discussing trade and investment as Mongolia seeks to reduce its dependency on Chinese and Russian neighbors. South Korea and Germany will soon sign an agreement aimed at protecting military secrets to boost defense cooperation. This was announced by South Korean President Yoon suk yeol on Sunday as he met with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz in Seoul. Yoon said that the military information agreement will help the smooth operation of the defense industry supply chain amid global economic and political instability. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.